So here's an example of how we can use angles in navigation. What you see in the top left hand corner is called a compass rose. Now compass roses uh, were originally created to navigate at sea, but uh, they are very useful now in navigating uh, any land area. A compass rose includes the four cardinal directions. So we got the, the north, the east, south and west. And it also has what's called the intermediate directions. Now there's 12 of these. And that's all of these little guys here. So north, northeast, northeast, and all the way around. And this gives you a total of 16 directions. Now, what's cool about the compass rose is it is essentially a circle. And we know that a circle is 360 degrees. So you can use a compass rose to estimate the angle of, uh, of a destination on your map. Uh, if you have a compass rose that has 16 directions, you just simply have 360 degrees divided by 16, and each one of these directions is going to equal 22.5 degrees. Okay, so let's estimate the true bearing of three places in northern Saskatchewan uh, using this compass rose. Now we're just quickly going to remember or uh, review what a true bearing is here. And uh, if you just read, it says true bearing is the angle measured clockwise between true north and in an intended direction expressed in degrees. So what that means is our angle from north to our intended destination, which is the first one will be Stanley Mission here, uh, the angle that it takes is called, so this angle here is going to be called our true bearing. Now this will be our true bearing for Stanley Mission. So if we look at our compass rows and the angle from La Ronge to Stanley Mission looks fairly similar to uh, probably northeast. Maybe a little bit east-northeast, um, but it's probably closest to northeast. So knowing that, we can estimate the true bearing. So we just start by saying north is zero. Right. <coughs> so north is zero degrees. Now, if we go down the compass rows, and if each direction is 22.5 degrees, is which we figured out, calculated before, we can just say, well, north, northeast will equal 22.5 because it's the first one. Now, northeast comes next. It's going to be 22.5 plus 22.5 which will give us 45 degrees so we can estimate that the true bearing from La Ronge to Stanley Mission is 45 degrees so let's figure out the true bearing to Wapawika Lake now and what we want to do instead of starting at north zero degrees and then adding up 22.5 till we uh, figure out Wapawika Lake. What we could do is we know that 90 degrees is east. So we can start at 90 to make it a little bit simpler. So we know that east, directly east, is 90 degrees. Now we just simply keep adding 22.5 degrees until we find our correct or our closest direction. Now Wapawika Lake, if we compare that to the compass rose, looks pretty close to southeast, which is two steps from directly east. So if east, southeast is going to be 90 plus 22.5, and we want southeast, which is going to be another 22.5. If we add those all up, we're going to get 
90 plus 45 is 135 degrees. So we can estimate that the true bearing to Wapawika Lake from Lorange is 135 degrees. All right, let's do one more. We're going to look at Egg Lake now. And same thing with Egg Lake. Instead of starting at 0 degrees north, we can look and start pretty close, probably even west, true west, which is going to be 270 degrees. Now, if we look at Egg Lake, it is pretty much directly west of Lorange. But just to make it maybe a little bit more accurate, it looks like it's a little bit west-southwest. So, if it's west-southwest of Lorange, that is one direction underneath west, so that means we have to subtract 22.5 degrees. And that's going to leave us with 247.5 degrees. So we can estimate that Egg Lake from Lorange has a true bearing of 247.5 degrees. So that is one way that we can estimate true bearing angles uh, in navigation using a compass rose.